work together as a team. Also picked up breakfast. Really, I have nothing to complain about. That I keep saying I'm trying to be healthy, but at the first sign of somebody offering me something with melted cheese on top, I jump at the chance. Today is going to be the first time ever that I try pre-workout. I'm a sucker for you. 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 Good morning guys, happy Monday, welcome to a new vlog. I'm flying later on this week, but of course it's a Monday, so I'm starting the vlog off right now, right and early. Okay, it's not that early, it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. I need to go get some eggs because the first thing I want to do today is make another lemon loaf. <laughs> also picked up breakfast. Hey crew, so it is hours later, um, it's around almost 10 o'clock and I took a nap. I think I told you guys that I was supposed to go out with one of my crew members, but... I'm a selfish kind of person With a soul trying to fly And to break the laws of nature doing a simple little nod here and like off to the side. It's 5.25, I am about to get my Uber. I'm naked now, and my nakedness is my soul gorgeous and so tasty I'm actually gonna write out the recipe and I'll leave it in the description box for you guys in case you want to make this because it is so easy to make it takes all of like 20 minutes to prep and then the cake bakes for 35 to 40 minutes it's a lemon loaf by the way I don't know if I mentioned that but it is it comes out so nice and so good and it's not dry at all and it's just perfect and it's perfect for a cold day with a cup of coffee you know so good you go if you ever try this recipe please let me know and tell me what you thought of it because i'm obsessed <laughs> it's after four now and i just got to my place i'm going to spend the evening doing nothing but editing pretty much but i am having a little snack and i wanted to show you guys I'm going to try these lime and black pepper rice crackers for a snack and I picked up some hummus to have with it. Super exciting stuff. I know, I know. I just heated up water for my hot water bottle. Did you guys know that you're not supposed to boil water for your hot water bottle? I honestly had no idea until two weeks ago maybe when I bought this hot water bottle. It was the first time in my life that I decided to read the instructions and it actually says you're not supposed to put boiling water in these and that explains why all of my hot water bottles have ripped and spilled boiling hot water all over my feet over the years. But I guess you're supposed to get the water just hot enough, like just less than boiling point, and then put that in your hot water bottle, and that should make it last longer. So we'll see if this hot water bottle lasts the entire winter, or if I'll be needing another one next year. I know I just said hot water bottle like 7,000 times, I apologize. Today is going to be the first time ever that I try pre-workout. I'm using this USN Kush and the flavor is fruit punch. So let's see. Mmm, that actually tastes so good. It's not super sweet. But good morning, you guys. It is Tuesday now. I slept in this morning. I've taken it super easy, but I'm gonna try to get really stuck into the day. I haven't worked out at all this weekend while I was away. So I really want to like come back with a bang and then I have assignments to get done. I know specifically I have one that is due 
in two days so I need to get it done today good morning friends happy Wednesday I was up at like 7 this morning for no apparent reason whatsoever I was just awake at 7 um, I just couldn't go back to sleep so I was watching some YouTube videos and I just decided to get the day going I guess it's half past 8 right now in the morning I've already got some laundry going because one of my friends is supposed to come and visit me on Friday. Last night my landlord made cottage pie and I love cottage pie and it's just it's so sad that I keep saying I'm trying to be healthy but at the first sign of somebody offering me something with melted cheese on top I jump at the chance I don't even try to say no I was just like yeah of course of course I'm gonna have some cottage pie but yeah I'm about to do a workout I'm glad I woke up earlier this morning because I do have quite a few things to get done. I do look I just finished gymming and having a shower and everything and yes and the gigi is saying that's a corner when you want to bang a was a phone got I was about was a phone to bend on my boom back here to go to bang a phone Keegan asked me to post some of his things that he wants to sell on Facebook marketplace and I did that it's beyond me how people just completely decide to ignore the description box in which I have written everything there is to know about specific items like for instance he was selling these headphones and so i put headphones selling for 50 bucks or whatever and i would say brand new never used received however many years ago but never used still has a bag then i would say for pickup in xyz area and serious cash buys only so i like go beyond in the description box just explaining everything because i don't want people asking me questions that are where i have to repeat myself and tell people the price over and over you know what I mean but these people are still messaging me still asking me the price they're literally like I have described everything and they're still going what area are you in or can you deliver this and it's like no I can't deliver it I very clearly stated in the description that it is for collection only Ugh. you have the energy to go and send me a message asking me that you couldn't have just scrolled down and read the description really no guys today is meant to be no wine wednesday i'm not supposed to be whining i'm not supposed to be complaining but i did want to share with you that that is what i'm going through but i'm still going to be an adult and i'm still going to respond to these people respectfully and nicely <laughs> It's two o'clock and load shedding just hit, so I don't have power until about 6 p.m. this evening, which in the spirit of No Wine Wednesday, I am grateful that I can buy data on my phone and still connect to the internet. I am grateful that just before the power went out, I refilled my hot water bottle so I'm able to stay warm for a little bit longer. I have a car that I can quickly drive to the shop to get myself something to eat. And at the end of the day, I do have a roof over my head. So really, I have nothing to complain about. I also finished my assignment, so yay! My laptop is fully charged, so I can watch something. And then once the electricity comes back, I'll be able to make dinner and prep everything I need to prep for work tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is four o'clock in the morning right now. And I'm just about to throw on my uniform and head out the door because I have an early morning sign on. Um, yesterday the electricity was off from 2 o'clock in the afternoon thanks to load shedding. It was supposed to come back around 6 but it only came back at like 10 minutes to 9 in the evening which was not ideal. Actually I lie, it did come back at 6 but it came back at 6 for all of like three and a half minutes and then it was off again. I literally couldn't do anything in that amount of time. Nothing useful, at least. So then I had to wait until nine o'clock to be able just to just, you know, charge my phone and do all of the things. It's not the worst. I know it's lasted a lot longer for other people, but yeah, it was just a bit of a struggle and it was really cold yesterday. So yeah, but I did finish my assignment. I did do majority of the computer stuff that I wanted to do, but at some point I also ran out of battery on my laptop. But anyway, it's time for me to throw on my uniform now and head out the door because I am flying today. My sign-on is at 5.30 in the morning, so wish me luck. Three-leg 
We just landed in Cape Town. I'll explain more about the flight later, but we are in a rush trying to hustle to get out of here. We work together as a team. It was a lot. It was a lot. Okay, we've made it to Durban. Bright and beautiful weather here, unlike Cape Town. Our first flight of the day. Oh, we're flying a triangle today. I don't know if I even mentioned. We're doing Joburg to Cape Town, Cape Town to Durban, which we've already operated. And then this last flight from Durban back to Joburg, we are actually paxing, which means we're on duty, we're in uniform, but we get passenger seats. So we don't actually have to work. The other crew have taken over and they're currently doing their pre-flight checks and we're lucky that we get to stay on the exact same plane. We don't have to run to a different gate, so that's cool. But yeah we've been rushed all morning i don't know why there's just been like these random delays all morning landing in cape town was a mission because there was so much fog visibility was so low we had to circle and hold for a really long time before we were allowed to land and there was three other planes in front of us as well and then once we did land and we boarded and everything we really tried to get a quick turnaround but then we were still stuck on the ground because the weather was still really bad to take off in and they decided to do, to do a runway change so yeah it just added another delay to us we're about 30 minutes behind schedule at this point i think but we finally made it to durban and for the next flight we get to sit and be passengers while the other crew operates overall the flight has been good though the flight going from Joburg to cape town had about 120 130 passengers and then from Cape Town to Durban was 107 passengers, I believe. And I'm not sure how many passengers are on this flight because I'm not operating it. So I think I'm just going to get out my Sudoku book and I'm going to try to get some nice flying B-roll for you guys. Yeah, the crew are great. We are all getting along. It's girl power today. And the passengers have been epic. There's been cute babies. Everybody's been listening. Everybody has been chilled. Most of our passengers have just been asleep, so it's been really easy, really pleasant, pleasant passengers, and I'm so grateful for that. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Searching for my highs Lunch You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Hello guys, how are we? It is Saturday now, it's about... I think it's almost one o'clock in the afternoon actually and I just finished a workout and pretty soon I'm gonna make myself some avo toast for lunch which should be really good. Yesterday was so much fun. It was so good seeing my friend Marietta. She was in town because she had recurrent training so that was cool. I can't believe it's been two years since I last saw her. I used to fly with her at my old charter company. She was actually one of my line trainers back then. I love spending time with people whose company I not only enjoy but who personally I respect. 
and professionally so it was a lot of fun but yesterday we had like this late lunch at news cafe and cocktails it was just like such a good time she made me this pot of succulents guys how cute is this it is so nice and she made it herself for me and she added these seashells from mozambique which are of importance because my first contract back at the charter company was in mozambique with her so that's so lovely of her today is such a nice warm and sunny day i think i'm actually gonna spend the rest of the day outside i have an assignment to get done which i may have forgotten about and it's due on the 15th and today is the 12th and that has now become the priority of the day it's just to do this assignment even though technically i am on afternoon standby from 1 p.m till 9 p.m today but i don't think i'm gonna get used because i've already confirmed duty for tomorrow but yeah i think i'm gonna end this vlog here i will start a new one tomorrow but for now, I think I have a lot of footage for this vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching it. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I really hope you did. And also please continue spreading good vibes and being kind. You never know who needs it. So I hope you guys have a fabulous day or evening or whenever you're watching this. But yeah, I'll see you all in the very next video. Bye.